Hi everyone, in this video, I will teach you how to solve quadratic inequality algebraically. Now, before I um, present my four examples that I prepared for you, I just want you to remember these four three steps in solving for quadratic inequality algebraically. The first step is we need to write the quadratic inequality in its standard form, which means it should be in this form. Second step is we need to solve for x using either factoring or quadratic for, uh, formula. Um, this is just my preference. You can use any method that you want, completing the square, the box method. I just prefer uh, factoring or quadratic formula. And then step number three, if it's greater than, expect that the answers are like this. The difference between the two is obvious. If it's greater than only, expect that, uh, or use parentheses only. If it's greater than or equal to, we use brackets, okay? But for the uh, sides of the infinity, just use the parenthesis. Now, if it's less than, okay, um, expect the answers are like this. The difference are the same with the greater than or greater than symbol. If it's less than, we use parenthesis exclusively. And then if it's less than or equal to, we use brackets. Now, remember that R sub 1 if we it, it, when we start putting on those numbers in this uh, notation, we have to make sure that r sub 1 is less than or equal to r sub 2. Okay? Let's go straight to the first example. Obviously, this inequality is not in standard form. So what I will do is I'm going to add 12 on both sides, and that will give me x squared minus 8x plus 12 is greater than zero. That's step number one. Step number two, solve for x. I think this, this can be factorized. So let's see. Uh, think about two numbers that when multiplied, the answer is positive 12. And when added, the answer is negative eight. That is right. They are negative two and negative six. Now negative two times negative six is positive 12. If you add those two numbers, the answer will be negative 8. And then solve for x. So x minus 2 is equal to 0. x minus 6 is equal to 0. We add 2 on both sides. This will give us positive 2. And then we add 6 on both sides here. This will give us positive 6. Now to put this into um, the interval notation, it will be like this. We'll start with negative infinity. The last number between the two, <clears throat> that, is, that is positive 2. And of course, we close that using parenthesis, union of 6 up to positive infinity. Okay, that's our answer. Next, um, so as you can see here, it's, it's, it's already in standard form, but I have a problem with the leading term here. It's negative. Uh, we need to make it positive, so I will multiply each term by negative 1 to make it positive. So this will be 2x squared minus 3x, 3x minus 20. Now when you do that, that symbol will switch. Okay? Every time you multiply or divide a negative number in an inequality, that symbol will, will switch. Next, I think, well, I'm not sure if this can be factorized, but... What I usually do if, you know, I'm not sure if, if, it, if it can be factorized or not, I use the quadratic formula. So let's use the quadratic formula here. So to, when, when using quadratic formula, we need to identify A, B, and C. A is 3, B is negative 3, and C is negative 20. So we know that the quadratic formula is this, negative B plus and minus squared of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. This is negative negative 3 plus and minus the square root of b squared. That's negative 3 squared minus 4 times a times c. All over 2 times 2. Now let's check again if our substitution is correct before we continue. Okay, I think that is right. This is equal to positive 3 plus and minus the square root of 9. And then after that, I usually count the number of negative signs. So if you see 1 or 3, put the minus sign. If you see 2 negative signs or 2 minus signs, you put plus and just multiply the numbers disregarded signs. 4 times 2 is 8. 
times 20 is 160 divided by 4. This is equal to 3 plus and minus. Okay, let's do that here. 3 plus and minus square root of 169 all over 4. And of course, we know that the square root of 169 is equal to 13. So that's 3 plus 13 over 4. And then the other one is 3 minus 13 all over 4. Okay, this is equal to 16 over 4, which is equal to 4. This is equal to negative 10 over 4, which is equal to negative 5 over 2. Okay, there you go. So now we need to uh, transform this or convert this into the uh, interval notation. Let's answer the problem. So we start with negative infinity and then negative 5 over 2. Since it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to rather, we use bracket union of positive 4 to positive infinity. Okay, so that's our answer. Okay, let's go to the third example. Again, we need to convert this into standard form. I will subtract x squared on both sides here. Okay, this will give me negative x squared minus 3x plus 40 is greater than 0. And of course, we need to make that leading term positive. So I will multiply both sides by uh, negative 1. This will be x squared plus 3x minus 40. And that symbol will change from greater than to uh, less than. And then we will do the factoring here. Let, let's, let me rewrite that here. Okay, think about two numbers. Okay. Two numbers. When added, the answer is positive 3. When multiplied, the answer is negative 40. Or when multiplied, the answer is negative 40. When added, the answer is positive 3. That is right. We're thinking about, we're talking about positive 8 and negative 5, right? 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. 8 plus negative 5 is positive 3. And then equate both factors to 0 and solve for x. This will give us positive 5. And then the other one, this will give us negative 8. So since this is less than now, we're talking about this inequality, it's less than, it will be the interval notation for this one is from negative 8 to 5. It's like coordinates in the Cartesian plane. You have to make sure that the number on the left is less than or equal to the number on the right side. Okay? Let's go to the fourth and last example. Again, this is not in standard form, so I will subtract 6 on both sides. My leading term again here for the third time is negative, so I will multiply that by negative 1 to make it positive. There you go. Now, I don't know if this can be factorized, so what I usually do if I'm not sure... I use um, quadratic formula. So identify A, B, and C. Solve for X. So this is the quadratic formula. We used this earlier. I think in the second example. We'll be using this again. This is negative 7 plus and minus square root of 7 square minus 4 times A positive 2 times C, 6, divided by 2 times 2, equals negative 7 plus and minus square root of 7 square, 49, minus 4 times 2 times 6, I think that's 48, all over 4, this is equal to negative 7 plus and minus square root of 1, all over 4, and of course we all know that square root of negative, square root of 1, 
is 1. So this will be negative 7 plus 1 over 4. And then the second is negative 7 minus 1 over 4. This is equal to negative 6 over 3. Why over 3? Over 4. <laughs> um, negative 3 over 2. We need to simplify that. This is negative 8 over 4. It's negative 2. Okay. Now think about which think about those two numbers, which one is less than the other. It should be negative 2. So negative 2 and negative 3 over 2. And we will use brackets here. So there you go. That's how you solve um, quadratic inequality algebraically. So I hope you learned this this particular lesson. Thank you for watching. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.